In this video, I'll be going over how to optimize your WordPress website images with ShortPixel. This will speed up your loading time and your overall user experience will be improved. So if that sounds good, let's dive into this tutorial. So before we dive into setting up the plugin, I want to show you the ShortPixel site and the dashboard within ShortPixel so you can see some of the features. And then from there, I'll also have an affiliate link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself and decide to purchase a plan. I'd greatly appreciate if you use my link. So if we go over here to shortpixel.com, you can see that they have an image right here and you can see what it looks like in the original state and then in short pixel and there's almost no difference between image compression. So what we're doing here with short pixel is we're going to be compressing images in order to basically speed up our website without losing any of the image quality or very, very little image quality where it's almost non-existent to the naked eye that you're looking at the image with. So if we scroll down here, we can see that they've had many different customers and you can download the plugin right here. And there is actually a free version that I'm going to get into now that only has a hundred images per month for free. Now that's going to be very limited. Most people are probably going to need at least this one right here but you could just download this free one just to get the hang of it and see how it works and then upgrade to the short one or another plan later on. So they also have one time plans right here as well, which is pretty nice. So you can get 10,000 images for 999. I'm personally someone who doesn't like to have these subscriptions to things like this. I just end up forgetting about it and then it comes out of my account. And I'm like, where, where is that? What is that for? So I end up usually going for something like a one time plan. And then they also have dedicated servers for people that need a lot as well. And these are very expensive, but they're probably worth it. If you have a business that's creating all these images, you're probably making quite a bit of money as well. So this could be a solution for people that need that. But for most cases, you're going to need a one-time plan or a monthly plan for most websites. So the way it works is there's actually three different types of compression. There's lossy compression, glossy, and lossless. Now these are very easy to get confused just because the names are so similar, but basically lossy is the best option for most users and it's going to compress your images without really losing any of the quality. Now glossy is the best option if you still care about Google Insights as it says and a slight loss of page speed. You're going to get more of a page speed improvement with lossy images and then lossless is basically you want it to be pixel perfect still. It might be for maybe a photographer who really has to rely on that, but they can't deal with having these 4K large images that take up so much space in their site, but they still really want to keep the high quality image. You'd use something like lossless. So if I go in here, I'll just log in. Now from here, you can actually get a plan and double up and you can actually get some better deals within the account once you sign up for an account. Now, I don't know if that means you have to be paying already. I never looked at this from a free account before. I've always had a paid one once I started using this. And I just wanted to at least point that out. Now over here, it says your processing stats. It says your mo monthly quota. My plan is 24,000 images a month. And this month so far, I've only used 2,674 images, but it is pretty early in the month. See, it says it will be reset in 29 days. So from here, some of the interesting things are the sub accounts. You can actually have it for different clients and set it up. That can really come in handy if you're a web designer and you have multiple clients. I really like this feature. You can set up a number of lifetime credits and things like this. So it's pretty nice to have this sub account. It also has an optimization report option. You can use affiliate links and see the stats. The API key is where you're going to need the key that you connect the plugin to your site. So if I go over here, my API key is displayed here, and then I can link this key to the plugin when I'm actually getting my website set up here with the plugin. So I'm going to copy this for now. If we go down here, it says associate domains. You can do that and add different domain names that you want the plugin and this API key to be associated with. It's basically like a second step of verification. And then obviously you have the change password and log out down here. So I'm going to just go over to this site and here I'm going to go plugins, add new, and it's this site right here that has some images on it. I'll search for where it says 
keyword I'll put in short pixel and I'm going to use short pixel image optimizer now this adaptive images is a great plugin you have to pay to get this I believe at this time but this one you can use for the free version so I'm just going to click install and I'll click activate and here I'm going to need to put in the API key that we just saw on the other screen and I'll validate it and it says great your API key is valid please take a few moments to review the plugin settings below and start optimizing your images so again if you want lossy it's going to compress the image to the fullest extent that it can so basically that means that you're going to be able to speed up your website because your images will load much faster on your website I would say this is the best option for most bloggers and people out there like this I use this on some of the blogs that I run on my sites now glossy over here it will tell you right here this type of optimiz optimization will apply to new uploaded images images that were already processed will not be re-optimized unless you start a bulk process restart the bulk process so I'm not going to go through that but I just wanted to show you that you can just toggle from one to the other now let's just say we like these right here there's 90 thumbnails so be aware of that because on your free plan you're only able to get a hundred so you may not be able to enable that if you have a lot of thumbnails but you can still optimize these images and not have the thumbnails optimized it's a better option than not optimizing anything so if we go down here let's go save and go to bulk process and it says in total there's going to be 132 optimize and I'm just going to go and click right here where it says start optimizing images and this will go through the process it will take some time to go through and then each time it optimizes an image it tells you how much space to actually saving so right there it saved almost 40 percent on the optimized image compared to the average one the beginning one that we use there this one saved 31.24 and so on so it's going to tell you how many minutes it takes and there's going to be some time left I'm actually just going to go over to GT metrics right now I'm going to copy this URL real quick and let's go to GT metrics and we're going to go here paste this in and let's run it and analyze how fast the site is right now and we can see right now it says it is a 59 for page speed score and a y slope of 70 so it says there's serve scale images we have a zero optimized images it's 87 so it's actually not that bad leverage browser caching I would have to put in something like WP rocket which I'm going to be doing a video on here soon I'll put it in a card if it's already out and these are ways that we can actually speed up our website performance overall and reduce the total page size as well so it just makes a better user experience so if we just go back over here I'm going to probably pause the video until this is done and then I'll show you again what it looks like on GT metrics compared to these scores that we have over here so I'm going to pause the video now and restart it once this is done all right so it says congratulations your media library has been successfully optimized if you want to you can look at a summary and you can also go over and then let's go to GT metrics and do a new test here so our last one we had a 59 and 70 the 1.9 load speed is a issue I would say not a huge one it's actually not that bad and we have a 1.65 megabytes and that one we want to reduce so let's see if we can reduce the size of this to something smaller if we paste it in we should have more optimized images now and it should be lower than this 1.65 and hopefully these improve a little bit but I don't think it's going to prove that much without the scaled images and the browser caching here because we need a cache plugin to do that if we go back over here let's see what the final results results are and there we go it did reduce the load time from 1.9 to 1.3 and the size of the total page size went down by about half and our page speed score improved as well so that gives us a boost across the board when using short pixel here you can see the difference now I will get into leveraging browsing caching and serving scaled images and some other tutorials here 
I would definitely recommend that if you can't afford a premium plugin like WP Rocket, the one that I recommend, that you go with something like WP Fastest Cash, and then you can easily improve this score as well and improve the overall score and load speed for your website. So I hope that you found this video helpful for getting started with Short Pixel and basically just optimizing your images very quickly here. Please consider subscribing for future videos and liking this video if you found it helpful. Be sure to look at the next videos upcoming here if you're interested in some of these topics as well. Thanks for viewing. Have a wonderful day.